have um, <clears throat> question number 15 from C12, January 2017, IAL. And it's a question all about areas of segments and triangles and so on, so, so forth. So it says figure five shows the design for a logo. The logo is in the shape of an equilateral triangle, A, B, C, of size length 2R. So, okay, that's 2R, that's 2R, and that's 2R all the way across. And that's 60 degrees, and that's 60 degrees, and that's 60 degrees. I'm just marking all the information we can from what we're given. Equilateral triangle. Okay, R is a constant. The points L, M, and N are midpoints of the sides A, C, and A, B, and B, C. Okay, so that means from A to L is R, and from L to C is R, and from N to C is R, and from B to N is R, and from B to M is R, and from A to M is R. Okay, so that means if that's 60 degrees, and these, these two are the same, these must be 60. So these are all equilateral triangles. They're all equilateral triangles. 60 degrees, 60 degrees, everything 60. Okay, so we've got that fine. These are, these are all the length R. Okay, and these are all 60 degrees. Okay. The shaded sector R, or say the shaded section R is a, is, um, of the logo, is bounded by the three curves MN, NL, and LM. The curve MN is a arc of a circle center L. So the curve MN is the arc of a circle center L. So that's like a se sector. All right, and this part is the second part. And NL is the curve or the arc of a cir circle center M. I'm guessing LM is the arc of a circle center N, radius R. So we know that all those are, all those are and these are all arcs the circles of from the points opposite them. Okay, finding centimeter squared the area of R giving you answer in the form KR squared where K is an exact constant to be determined. So we're in like third form, pi form, whatnot. Okay, so we're gonna find the area of this shaded part. Now I can see straight away we've got basically here yeah, we've got two triangles. Sorry, we've got one triangle, one equilateral triangle that looks like this. Okay, where the sides are R and the angle sixty degrees. And we've got three of these segments. Okay, these segments are the segments of a circle whose radius is R and whose angle is 60 degrees. So if you can find the area of this one triangle and the area of these three segments and add them together, I will have my area. Okay, so let's go down here and see something I prepared a bit earlier. So basically, we need to find the area of, let's just find the area of the triangle first. This is 60, this is R, this is R. So I can find the area of the triangle. So the area of the triangle is going to be a half, remember, a half AB sine C. So a half times R squared times sine of 60, which is a half R squared times root 3 over 2. The sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. So that gives you root 3 times r squared over 4. Okay, so that's the area of the triangle. Now let's look at the area of the segment. The area of the segment is equal to the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. Okay, the area of the sector is given by the area of the sector. And when you're talking in terms of radian, is a half r squared theta. So if that's the angle, theta must be in radians when you use it in this formula. So 60 degrees is pi over 3 radians. So the area of the, of the sector is going to be a half times r squared times pi over 3. Half r squared theta. Minus the area of the triangle which we just found, which is root 3 over 4 r squared. Okay, so let's simplify this. Let's simplify this part. We have here um, pi r squared over 6 minus root 3 over 4 r squared. Okay, the common factor here um, is going to be uh, 12. So you can put over 12. Okay, so this is going to be uh, times 2. So that's 2 pi r squared. 
the same as pi r squared over 6 minus, and here you've got to multiply by 3, 3 root 3. That will give you root 3 over 4, root 3 over 4, and that's also r squared. Okay, so you have the area of one sector is that. So we want the area of three of those. So it's going to be three times that. So it's three times 2 pi r squared minus 3 root 3 r squared over 12. So we end up with 4. So it's 2 pi r squared minus 3 root 3 r squared over 4. That's the area of the three sectors. But we have to add to that the area of the triangle, which we found was root 3 over 4 r squared. Okay, so let's just... So the total area... So the total area... is equal to the area of these three sectors, which is... these the root 3 sector, which is 2 pi r squared minus 3 root 3 r squared over 4, plus the area of the triangle, which is 3 root 3 r squared over 4, plus root 3 r squared over 4. So we want to simplify this. We can put it all under one denominator, 4. And we're going to have, um, let's take r squared as common. We're going to have 2 pi minus 3 root 3 plus 1 root 3. So that's r squared, 2 root 3, that's going to be minus, so you're going to have 2 pi minus, and that's going to be 2 root 3, isn't it? Over 4, okay. Simplifying it so it looks simpler. So you have r squared is equal to, sorry, not r squared, the area, no. So the area is now, you can take 2 out, so you have 2r squared, and you're going to have pi minus root 3, all over 4, 2 cancels with the 4, so you're left with um, r squared times pi minus root 3 over 2. So we can see that the k that we're looking for, kr squared in its exact form, okay, it's going to be, let's say k equals, or you can say k equals pi minus root 3 over 2. And there's your answer. Thank you for paying attention.